Because like like you mentioned in, in that, right, like maybe Ryan Poles was thinking three, four, five steps ahead of the rest of us because all of a sudden we get the news this weekend that the mm-hmm. Washington Commanders got to right. my brain still, still got to switch my brain on that. Um, may di- won't be picking up Chase Young's fifth year option and maybe looking to move on from him. Should the Chicago Bears be in on Chase Young? Is that Ryan Pohl's first big swing to try and add a huge piece to this defense that you've already got made up? We talked about the edge rushers. What do you think on Chase Young right now? I don't know. Uh, it, it, answer you could it, get. All right. I, I, I don't know. But I'm going to tell, tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Um, sometimes you, you, you have to be wary about the, the carrot that's dangling in front of your face. Right. Um, you have to do some research on this. Uh, Chase Young is too big of a talent. You know, he's too great of a talent for them not to pick up that that fifth option and to say and to basically open the doors to, hey, we are are open to trade this guy. Yeah. Um, you know, we're open. We're looking for offers, so we can want to get some value out of him. Uh, you know, the, the number one. The how's the recovery going? How is he? Right. How is the how's that injury affected him? Right. And you know because uh, you know and I, and I hate to use the term, but we throw the sink and we give them all these picks, and we end up getting a lemon out of Chase Young. Uh, uh, you know shades of the the for, the player formerly known as Chase Young. This, yeah. that's a huge win for the Commanders, and that's yeah. that's another step back for us that we didn't have to take. So there are some things in, that you have to research in this in getting him back. And then it's at what cost to get him. You know, if we can do, do it for a reasonable cost, yeah, you know, let's we can try it out. But if the cost is too high, then it's, it's, it may not be worth it may not be worth the grief. You know, so there's yeah. a lot of things that go into play here. And it was a compound injury as well. So he tore the right ACL. Uh, causing him to miss the last seven games. But he also ruptured his patellar tendon, which caused a longer recovery time. So it's not just the torn ACL. I feel like now, right, like, first off, AP made torn ACL seem like it was nothing. (laughs) So a lot of people look at it like it's nothing. He's a different different type of human being. what did, what did Kobe say? Are you a different animal but the same beast? You know what I mean? Like, that that was ridiculous what we saw from him. Mm -hmm. But, um... The, the fact that it's two injuries, right, the ruptured patellar tendon and a torn ACL, do you think that that maybe, though, brings the value down of what you're trading back as far as compensation? And maybe you take a flyer on it, right? Is it worth it, it in, in the end? Right? Like, to me, here's the thing. Are we a Chase Young away from me feeling great about this defense? Whew. I mean, absolutely. A healthy, a healthy yeah. Chase Young, that's playing the way he played when he first got in, yep. um, I, absolutely. You know, and 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 just the fact that 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 door is open, you got to test those waters and see. Hey, would you would you take a would you take a two? You know, would you take a two? Would you take a three next year? What can I? You know, what can we can we can we strike a deal here, or is this yeah. is this a we're only taking first round picks? You know, but you got to test the waters a little bit. But yeah, we're defensively. I don't. You know, I'd like to see how we perform this year. I'd like to see how we perform. It's it's hard for me to to gauge. You know, if we're a chase chase young away because we're always a, a chase chase young type of player away from yeah. from from uh, 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 raising our defense to a higher stand to a to a higher level. Yeah. But um, but I, I I just I watched our defense play last year and I watched I saw a difference last year than the year before. Uh, so I'm expecting uh, even more effort from this year than I saw last year with more talent, you know, and with more talent than they had last year, uh, um, I expect to the production levels to be higher. So, you know, it, we'll, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a production based business and you got to see the production before you can make an evaluation. What does adding in a player like that do? Like you guys had so many big names on your defense, but just adding in a player like that, what does that do to invigorate a defense to, to right? Like we always think about it in the X's and O's on the field, but right. Chase Young was a monster when he was on the field. And if you know, you got that coming in, I think of the Khalil Mack effect when he first got here, what does that do when you're in that locker room? 
You think of a Khalil Mack, you think of a Julius Peppers when when you know that they're going to be on that defense. When you know he's going to be on a part of his defense. You know right now we're we're going to find whoever the weakest lineman is on our opponent and we're going to create a one-on-one and yeah. allow him to just go get it. You know, there were times where Peppers would line up at nose, he would line up at three tech, he would line up at defensive end, left or right, really? based okay, off of yeah. based off of who we knew we could take advantage of. Yeah. You know, and if we can do that, he may not get the sack, but we're going to create the pressure that that ball has to come out earlier, or we're going to flush him to somebody to get the other set to get this to get that set. So, but we knew by moving him and putting him on their weakest lineman that yeah. we can create something there. <clears throat> That's 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 so funny. The first time I'd ever heard about somebody doing that, Jason Kelsey was just talking about it with J.J. Watt. He said, I only lined up against the one time, and it's because I guess when he got up against me, I played well enough that he didn't say I was the weakest lineman on the line, <laughs> so he didn't attack me anymore. <laughs> but but it's, it's always like that level of ver- – so you think Chase Young is that level of versatile player even if we add him to this defense? Well, if, you, if, you, if he's – if he's the, if he's the, the old Chase, Chase Young. If he's the Chase Young that, that everybody evaluated coming out of Ohio State and like yes. you got to have that kid, yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Especially in this defense, in, in this Everflu's defense, that's yeah. something that you can do with a talent like that. <clears throat> I, I'm intrigued by Chase Young. I don't know what it would cost to get him. I mean, listen, the, the commanders have asked for some wild prices on stuff out here. but They, they, they want first-round picks for everybody pretty much. So I don't know if it's going to take a first-round pick to get him, but his his health is such a question mark. And then on top of that, right, he's in that fifth year. You, ha- you have to re-sign him. Do you take a flyer knowing that maybe you're going to let him walk away if he doesn't want to be here? Mm-hmm. That's, that's so many, so many question marks going into that, in, into that whole situation, man. Yeah, yeah, and he, you know, if he plays well this year, you know, that th- then, then all of a sudden, when he's going to hit that market, they franchise him. You know, yeah. there's, <clears throat> it's just, <clears throat> it's a, it's a, it's an interesting situation, and I hope, I hope that he, in health, he plays this year. He, he plays lights out. I really do. Oh, I hope he's a monster. Listen, as long as he's not playing for anybody against us, don't go to the Packers, don't go to the Lions. Please don't go to the Lions. I don't need Chase Young and Aiden Hutchinson on the side. Please don't go to the Lions. I don't need that at all.